Hello friends, this is Vishakha Daga coming up with next round of New Simplified. Now, it is said by many scientists and entrepreneurs before that one day we will build a small star at each home and this star will be able to provide and satisfy most of the energy demand of the people. Now, this dream may become true these days because of the major breakthrough that has taken place in nuclear fusion reaction energies. So, we will discuss what is this breakthrough that has happened recently. Then we will discuss how nuclear fusion is different from nuclear fission, what is the major difference in between the two and why this breakthrough is important for us. Along with that, we will understand what are the major experimentation that are actually undergoing around the world to make the nuclear fusion reaction successful and possible, including international thermonuclear experimentation reactor. So let us move ahead and discuss all of them one by one. Beginning with the news, where UK scientists have recently achieved a milestone in the nuclear fusion reaction. What is this milestone? They have generated twice the amount of energy from the same nuclear fusion reaction of what they have generated earlier. So if earlier they were generating 20 units, now they're able to generate 20, like 40 units out of it, which actually makes a nuclear reaction or nuclear fusion reactor more like feasible option. And this is done in the joint European Taurus facility where a large operational tokamak is working in there. Tokamak is nothing, it is a kind of donut shaped machine. So like this is what uh, you will uh, like keep in mind in here. <clears throat> tokamak is a kind of a donut shaped machine in which the plasma is present and this plasma is confined in there with the help of magnetic field. So this plasma does not run away anywhere. And then enough energy is provided to this so that nuclear fusion reaction can take place. So here deuterium and tritium are actually placed in this plasma and they are heated to the times 10 times the temperature that is present in the sun in order to produce the nuclear fusion reaction. Now why that is needed? What is plasma? We will actually understand in the next set of like uh, the session. Let's move ahead and first of all we understand what is nuclear energy or what is nuclear reaction. You have understood the chemical reaction before and chemical reaction include the reaction in between the atoms like per se uh, hydrogen H2 plus O2 gives H2O and several of the reaction are exothermic in this matter. That means they release enough amount of energy. Example is sugar. If you burn glucose, then glucose in reaction with its element produces enough amount of the other element and enough energy. That's why we generate energy from the sugar cane and these kind of atoms as well when we convert them to ethanol. Now this is chemical reaction. Chemical reaction produce certain amount of energy. However, when this reaction grows from the atomic level to the subatomic level, that is electron, proton and neutron, that's where the amount of energy release become thousands and thousands times higher. So nuclear reaction do not take place at atomic level, they take place at subatomic level where either two neutron fuse together or a larger nuclei is breaker into two half. And accordingly a nuclear reaction is divided into two types that is nuclear fusion and nuclear fission. Now what happened in nuclear fission? Fission means fissory when you break something. In nuclear fission reaction a larger nuclei is breaker into two. Right? Example here uranium-235. We have supplied neutron to uranium-235. 235 is its mass number and a mass number remember is made up of uh, your protons plus your neutrons. Earlier uranium has 235 neutron. When you supplied it another set of neutron it become 236. Now this 236 is broken, it's broken actually because of the energy that is supplied by neutron and now it has generated two daughter nuclei that is barium 144 and krypton 889. If you sum up this the mass number will be 233. The missing 3 is there, the 3 is missing in here, na? it was 236 so it should have been 236 in here as well. The missing 3 number is because of generation of 3 new neutrons. So one gen neutron was given and three new neutrons are generated in the process. This is called nuclear reaction because here the, num the nuclear energy, the reaction has takes place, taken place in nucleus itself where the proton and neutron have collided. 
with their numbers have changed this is not an atomic reaction and here ample amount of energy is being released because the mass is lost and this mass is converted into energy by the formula e is equals to mc square every mass that is lost is converted into energy because of einstein formula and that's why einstein played a greater role in like explaining the nuclear energy and nuclear reactions actually making it possible as well this was nuclear fusion where a one larger atomic nuclei breaks into two on the other hand in case of fission reaction fission means combination here two smaller nuclei combine to produce a larger nuclei example the two isotopes of hydrogen that is deuterium and tritium here the mass number of hydrogen is 2 and here the mass number of hydrogen is 3 so 5 is the mass number this undergo because of large amount of energy that is being supplied this undergo undergoes a kind of a fusion then it breaks so what happened a, another set of nuclei is being generated that is helium helium with mass number 4 now from 5 to 4 one thing is missing in here that creates another set of neutron and that's how the nuclear reaction has taken place that is the nucleus have actually moved the nu the, the constitute of nucleons have changed this is nuclear fusion reaction so this is nuclear fusion in which two dot two actually one two atoms are like two set of nuclei are coming together to form a bigger one and nuclear fusion in which a larger nuclei is breaking into the other halves so this is what we have understood the nuclear fusion and fusion reaction this was the de def difference of definition the other differences are occurrence nuclear fusion fusion reaction hydrogen reactions are are very natural they occur at so many places in your sun in your stars and various other uh, places on the other hand nuclear fusion is not a very natural reaction like in radioactive substance it may take place however it is mostly a man made reaction naturally it does not occur that much next is the energy amount of energy that is been required to generate a new to actually create a nuclear fusion reaction is relatively lesser and this also generate a lesser amount of energy as compared to nuclear fusion reaction on the other hand nuclear fusion requires lot of energy to actually start a process and even it generate lot of energy in the process itself nearly five times the energy that is being generated in the nuclear fusion reaction so this was understanding the difference in between the two now here the reaction takes place in a plasma state that is hydrogen this two isotopes of the uh, hydrogen deuterium and tritium are present in plasma state plasma state is neither solid liquid or gas it is a different gaseous state in which the gases atom are present in nearly liquefied state so it is neither solid nor gas but somewhere in between at higher temperature some of the ionic gases exist at the plasma state okay now let's move ahead and since we have understood the difference in between the fusion and fusion reaction you must have understood the fusion reaction itself now let's move ahead and see what is the significance of fusion reaction because fission we have already successfully worked on it we are generating lot of energy from a fusion reaction so many fusion reactors are present in india itself right now the environmental the, it, the fusion reaction is said to be the more efficient one and more environmental friendly than the fission reaction that we have currently reason is number 1 it is actually it does it will not contribute to climate change because most of the constituent that are raw material and that are by product of a fusion reaction are actually environment friendly because it consumes the hydrogen here you can see it uses hydrogen isotopes in order to generate the helium so neither it's actually raw material generate uh, the greenhouse gas and not does it's like it's actually elemental product that is helium which is an inert gas which does not generate greenhouse gas so it is environmentally friendly second the fuel is widely available like deuterium you can generate from the distillation of a small, like normal water you can generate enough deuterium and tritium actually actually can be generated in further fusion reaction next is it risk it actually there is a low risk and low pollution in there because here the pollutant or the by product is basically helium and helium is not a pollutant you don't need to worry about actually disposing it on the other hand uranium and their by product they are highly hazardous and we have seen in case of chernobyl reaction or fukushima disaster how improper disposal of the waste or not taking care of actually increases the risk in this case right so we there is already concern ki how we disposing the waste in here so pollution is very less and so is the proliferation because uranium and platinum are required to generate a fission reaction on the other hand here technology is more important hydrogen helium is because available already abundant in the atmosphere what matters is whether you are aware of the technology or not 
third is the risk that is associated the risk is very lesser in case of fusion reaction the reason is because of the plasma this reaction takes place at the plasma level that means hydrogen and deuterium deuterium and tritium are present in the ionic state ionic gaseous state which require very high degrees temperature to maintain this so if anything happen to the reactor immediately what will happen there will not be enough energy to sustain this reaction energy will be less so plasma will cool down and once the plasma will cool down the reaction will stop so this has an automatic mechanism to instead shut down the reaction instead of continuing which happened in case of chernobyl in chernobyl because of default the reaction increased but here in this case if there will be meltdown the plasma will cool down and the reaction will come down so this is less hazardous that's why it is said ki nuclear fusion will be the next step towards a human evolution okay the other reason why the fusion reaction is more important because it is highly energy efficient as compared to fusion reaction reason it actually its efficiency is 100 times more than the fusion reaction for the energy it generate from the amount of raw, raw uh, material it has used second the chemical reaction like from the chemical reaction it is like nearly 100 like 1000 times like faster and generate 1000 uh, times of energy and from a fusion fusion it generate nearly four times as much as energy it is generated by a fusion reaction so it is highly efficient this is this can also be a boost to our next program that is <clears throat> you can see in here international thermonuclear reactor Uh, which is actually we are currently working on this so if we actually successfully run this program we can actually make this iter successful as well however there is a greater challenge and the challenge is temperature as i said the difference between the fusion reaction and the fission reaction is the temperature fission reaction do not require that high degree of temperature as is required by the fusion in order to generate to the extent the energy demanded by fusion reaction is so high in a fusion reaction that it has to be supplemented by a fusion reaction a fusion reaction has to takes place to supply the enough energy to the fusion reaction so energy has been a biggest challenge because it requires a temperature equal to the sun's core the temperature that is as high in the sun's core and even more than that so that is the biggest challenge we are working on that and that's why so far no running power reactor is seen in any part of the world which is supplying electricity to the country we, most of them are in experimental stage including this one the two that you are supposed to keep in mind is the international thermonuclear experimental reactor which was actually created in 1985 in the south france with the help of 35 nations just keep in mind india is also part of this 35 nations and to memorize this you should keep in mind that 28 european union countries called as euratom plus uk which is not a part of european union now the rest of the countries are russia us and china which you will remember then there is japan and south korea and then switzerland so these constitute 35 countries which are running iter which actually are trying to make a nuclear fusion nuclear fusion reaction practically possible okay so this is itr is trying to do but these are not the only country china is running its own project that is china artificial sun in which it is actually using advanced supercomputing tokamak in order to generate enough electricity using fusion reaction so these are existing two running project that are trying to make the fusion reaction possible now if that becomes a possible energy efficiency will increase and many of the energy demands of this country and the rest of the world will be met i hope this becomes possible some day now if in this video nuclear fission and fusion reaction becomes clear to you then you need to like and subscribe the video however if you have any doubt put your doubts in the comment section thank you so much Current Affairs by Forum IAS is an all-in-one program that covers the dynamic aspect of the syllabus from both prelims and mains perspectives. Last year, we have helped more than 100 students crack IAS with our Current Affairs classes.